Hello, motherfuckers, and welcome back to Iron from Ice. Mira, I was worried. Quick How recap before we get interrupted. Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're not. It went well, yeah. It went well. Really? That's a relief. Cersei is known for being rather. Yeah, so we sat caught with Cersei and Tyrion, and uh, Tyrion well, looks like our best shot. We spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course. Oh, this is this is what I've been waiting for. I've been really, really interested in this. Ah, Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, what? He would. It's true. You slit and your throat, you stupid Oberyn slut. Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. He is quite handsome. And quite Pedro handsome. Pascal, isn't it? He even From sounds like a porn star. It's the guy who played him, Perhaps by the way, if you don't know. Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. So how it works in this universe if you're highborn. Marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. I imagine it'd just be like marrying a king. Would you marry fair. Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have uh, a certain look What of inbreeding? Him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. <laughs> I don't want to be queen, no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen? You northerners. You'd Oi, make the perfect Fuck off, that's a sweeping statement, you southern pussy. Well, I pussy. would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as queen of the Seven Kingdoms. What, sorting out all the menial I'm tasks and seeing to all the people maiden. who want to... You know, oh yeah, can I have some gold to go in? No, no, fuck off. Just, God, it'd be horrible. I've read the books. I know what happens. Most of it's Green monotonous, Tart tedium. And Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> What a perfect match! That was a pretty good Sir match, actually. Ron and what are you doing? Ooh, Wolverine's angry. Well, oh, I'm fuck sorry, off. my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. Shows what really goes through my head. This is what not I say. a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. What by sitting Yet people next to each other? Men who are powerful. Right, go and ask the mountain for the an arm wrestle. See who's powerful. By your display, mirror. Because you fucking asked me to do it. I'm just glad it's over. God. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Oh God, <laughs> sounds a bit forceful. Do you agree? Oh God, that's to feed your ego. Uh, Sarah. Once you're right. queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. God, egotistical. You were brave, agreeing to obey the Boltons. That cannot have been easy. I know you must fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. Flay them. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Oh, no, there's not. Something important. There's not. There's been nothing. My mother wanted me to ask a favor of you, for my family. She's still asking. All right. But as you said. All right. You're in a delicate position now with the wedding so near. And I would never want to jeopardize that. Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now we must both be cautious. Yep, yeah, that's, uh, you're right. Better wait. Of course, my lady. You're right. See, it's, it's true. If she wait. was queen, she'd have more sway, so... Oh, I'm fine with waiting. Not like Mira or Lord Ethan, anyway. Yes! It's what we've all been waiting for. <laughs> right, that's... Well done, Garrett. Well done. Why were you walking your horse anyway? And even if I was, if I heard that, I'd be back on my horse. I'd be like, finger up its arsehole, make it run even faster. Oh, don't check it. Oh my god, he really is stupid. If this was a horror game, he would have died already. He's that kind of guy. Shall we? Did you know my oh god. Wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? Straight in the Age of Heroes, House Bolton wore Stark's 
skins as cloaks. There you go, a little bit of trivia for you. Okay, come on. Why, why am I gonna, why do I need to watch him flay Not someone? My best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have... Oh, look at them all, they just, practice. they just really don't care, easy. those lads. What with all that it's like, oh yeah, he's flaying him. Like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. God. As my father Fucking likes gumbo say, there. Oh, look like a drowning cat. The holds few secrets. Flayed the man holds man, none. Yep. The flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the warden of the north. He does now. Well, he did. How much further is it? Looks like Theon from the back. Foresters. Uh, a day, my lord. Two oh god! Just don't say he's going to attack him. What no. was that? It was a fucking twig snapping. It could have been yes. an animal. It could have been, it could have been like a bird or a dog or like well a wolf, I suppose. Or it could have been fucking anything. Or it could just there. been some leaves fall. How? What the hell? Is it Daredevil? Hear that? Daredevil with sight. I know uh, I heard something. Stay still. Stay still. If we run, they've likely got bows and arrows, and they've got horses. So I'm gonna try to hide. At least if he comes around here. Why, why is he just stood Never mind. at the tree? <laughs> We've wasted it. Go and check it out, and he just stirs intently at the bark. All right. I think you might need to, to hire yourself a new uh, a new bannerman, Ramsey. All right. Well, that actually went quite well. Oh, there you go. A little bit of Cantasia. Pop it up at the bottom there. Thank you. He's not waited long, has he? I, I told you Gary's stupid. Oh my god, you just leave this place alone, wouldn't you? If he screams now, he alerts them back. Oh, you can see where he's flayed on his arms already. Oh. Bloody hell! To be fair, I thought Garrod might have had a worse reaction than, bloody hell. Right. Okay, we are going to leave it there on that episode because, well, I don't want one episode to be like four. If this next chapter is really long, it's just going to be a ball ache. Um, so, I think this episode will be a little bit shorter. I apologise for that. But there will be another episode up on Monday, it should be. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. And, yeah, just... Oh, yeah, by the way, don't starve together. I record, recorded, like, three hours of it, and Camtasia, because it's fucking brilliant, decided... Well, basically, the, the recording on my end is screwed, so it's all going to be on Blue's channel and Orange's when he sets it up, and I will still link you to those two if you wish. All right, guys. guys peace. Game. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. Beast. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard, not her. You can help my family. Surely that should have been a question. I suppose the crown could be well, decided to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Uh, well, are you willing to risk that? But let's have a backup plan. Yes. It may be far too dangerous. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please.